When we engage the public with our science, we want them to trust the scientific community and its process, rather than an individual scientist. After all, we are all human and fallible. Fighting fake news or conveying scientific information is not just about pointing out what's wrong or right, but to present science itself in a truthful way. How can this be achieved? In this video, we will go over a few points to keep in mind to make sure you are scientific in your communication. It's important to remember, as many publications have shown, that trust is built not only by providing reliable information, but also by revealing the mechanisms behind knowledge creation and dissemination. Acknowledge your source. Is it peer-reviewed research, another expert's opinion, or something else? More on that in our next video. There are many ways to do this, citing the studies when talking, listing them on your slides or under a video like we've done here, providing links in a blog article, pick what suits you, present information objectively and make sure your conclusions and interpretations are in line with the evidence, be transparent about the limitations. You might be afraid of being perceived as less of an expert. However, research has so far found no compelling evidence that communicating scientific uncertainty negatively impacts public perception of science. Be transparent about your own affiliations, funding, and possible conflicts of interest. Transparency itself might not reduce skepticism on controversial topics, but it is key to sustaining long-term trust and avoiding the spread of conspiracy theories. As a study in PNAS shows, while there are clear short-term costs to transparent negative communication, there are no benefits to the alternative of reassuring the public about controversial topics using vague communication, which leads to both short-term vaccine skepticism and long-term distrust. Don't forget though, engaging the public is different from addressing the scientific community. You can watch our videos on choosing your words well, crafting your key message, and using emotions to hear more about these topics. Now, think about your last public engagement activity, what would you do differently to make it more scientific without making it less engaging? Please share in the comments. Please help us improve our project by completing this very short form. And don't forget to check out the other videos in the series and additional tips in the description.